Ever since documents were published showing that the flight manifest for the flights down to St. Kitts, where Justin Trudeau and his family were having a vacation, were edited, the Prime Minister's office has been trying to do some damage control on who was on the trip, who wasn't, who paid for it, and who didn't. Well, here's the rundown on it. Justin Trudeau and his wife and their children and some members of her family went down for a Christmas vacation in the Caribbean. After all, who wouldn't want to do that? And they paid for a lot of their expenses on the trip out of pocket. It was a personal vacation, was not government business. And they also paid for the equivalent economy airfare, even though they flew down on a government jet, because I understand why a prime minister can't fly commercial. But then we look at some of the other costs here, namely how much it costs to have the nanny's down there. How much the taxpayers had to pay for that, given that the nanny was on payroll as a residential staff member, which the Prime Minister's office has acknowledged is par for the course. But then we have some of the other costs here, specifically those of Ken Bruman, who is the Prime Minister's office tour manager. Now, this means that he's responsible for a lot of travel that Justin Trudeau does. Now, this is not an official tour event. It was a personal vacation, so maybe it's just protocol to have the tour manager there, but I do think we need to look at some of the costs here. Specifically, the fact that he logged over $6,700 in cost in dealing with his travel and expenses for this vacation. Now, this includes hotels, sometimes ranging up to $350 a night. This includes car rental. This includes more than $2,000 in meals. Now, these are documents that I obtained under the Access to Information and Privacy provisions of the federal government, which means that the government is supposed to be very forthright about this. Now, we have in this package a number of receipts from the trip and hotel bills, etc. What we don't have are meal receipts. We know that the government gives a per diem, which means there's a designated total that he can claim per day in cash. And we see he got that money reimbursed from the government. We don't know what it was actually spent on at this time. I'm working on getting those receipts as well. But it goes against what the Prime Minister's office has been saying, that this was all just covered out of the Trudeau family's personal bank account, because that wasn't the case. RCMP is necessary, but their costs are obviously covered by the taxpayers, as are the flight costs. And these are costs that I'm okay with. These are things that are just a necessary evil. The Prime Minister shouldn't be denied a vacation, even if he's taken more than any human does in five years, let alone in six months. But I digress. But the other side of this, too, is that we've been paying for a team of staff that have gone on this trip that is not demonstrably necessary. Why do you need a nanny when the parents of the children and the grandparents of the children are on the trip? Why do you need a tour manager when this is not an official trip? But if you just look at these numbers here, you can see how these costs add up, especially at a time when the US dollar, Canadian dollar exchange rate was so poor. So it's one thing to have a little bit of dishonesty, as was the case in one of the manifest versions as to who was actually on the trip. It's another one. The prime minister's office is telling us that there was a lot less that went into it that the taxpayers paid for than actually did. For the Rebel.media, I'm Andrew Lutton. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.